And Oregon's got a level now. So I guess we'll level up then. So, um, Alistair isn't far off leveling, actually. Right, so I'm going to give Morrigan a bit more constitution. Magic, willpower, I think. Cone of cold, very, very useful. And Lele. Constitution. She needs dexterity, doesn't she? So, we'll do that. I guess we can go with combat tap, uh, combat skills, rather. And we'll go with... Melee Archer. Yeah. That'd be good. Alright. So we need to go back to Redcliffe. Because I want to buy some stuff. So I guess we'll do that in this session. And then next session we'll start by talking to everyone. There is actually a funny scene we can show. If I can change the party here, that might be useful. Uh, I can't. I probably should have chosen to take Shale. Oh well. Yeah, if you come out here with Shale, um, there's quite a funny scene, which I completely blanked out on, where... Shale sees a chicken, and then you hear a thud as you see all the other characters turn around and Shale just looks at you and shrugs. So I'm going to head back. I'm going to save first. Save here, just in case we get another encounter. Which we inevitably will. And now we can go to Regular Village. And get ambushed. But what ambush is this? Ah, so we've got a merchant. Awesome. So we can buy some stuff off this guy. Um, I'll just check my inventory to make sure I've got everything out that I want out. Yeah, we're good. Do you have coin, stranger? Doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven made. Let's see this discount of yours. Okay. So. What we're going to buy is we're going to buy some gifts. We're going to buy that stuff. We're going to buy elf fruit. We'll buy the potions, because why not? I'll buy the Lyrian potions, but not the greater ones, because they're a little bit too much. A bit rich for my blood. Um, I think that's it. Sell my junk. Anything else that's useful? No. Do you have coin, stranger? With Orzammar, fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. What's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay. I just wanted to chat. Jeez. All right, Redcliffe. When the game loads. Come on, you can do it. Good, all right. So why have I come to Redcliffe? Well, there are crystals that we can buy here as well from the tavern. So yeah, we're gonna go to the tavern and see if we can buy some. I don't think there's any we can buy from the blacksmith, but I guess we could try. I 
can't remember if Lloyd actually survived. I think he did. I'm trying to think how many people actually saved. I think all the main people survived. So, a few customers, but not many. We've won, but I hear the dock spawn still advance. Does that mean we have to evacuate the village anyhow? If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? Let's see what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Right. Yeah, he has some crystals. Cool. I'll buy one of each. Does he have any armor? Yeah, he does. Um. Ah, now. Hang on a sec. Weapons. Have we got two of those? We have now. I'll sell that one back. And I'll sell that one back then. So we've got these. So I don't need any weapon ones. I do need a spirit crystal left. So I'll buy one of those. And then we have everything available to us. Uh, anything else that's useful? I guess I'll buy the ale. Since it's there, you know. Cool. Yeah. The blacksmith doesn't have any. Most of the crystals we picked up back at Honlyeth, though. Maybe we missed out on the spirit one, or maybe there wasn't a spirit one there. Alright, so we'll head back to camp, we'll give some stuff to Shale, we'll have a little look for our inventory as well, and then we'll finish, and then I'll talk to everyone next session. Because there's more people to speak to now. I don't want the session to run for too long, so... Wow, look at me though. I look awesome. People may say that the helmet looks silly, but it gives me plus two to all my attributes. It is insane. See if there's any cutscenes as well. We do get the occasional cutscene. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Sure. Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. So it was for nothing? No, not for nothing. There is much of interest here in her writings, and one thing in particular I find fascinating. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. A spell of immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, Yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Okay. Are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired their preparation and training i recognize all of it i am to be her next host this is my purpose so why would she risk sending you with me i do not know perhaps tis as she said 
The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the Tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. So if you died, she would have another daughter? Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace? A disturbing thought. So, is Flemeth immortal or not? Whatever spark of the demon that made her what she is remains within her, keeps her from dying of old age, but her body deteriorates. Eventually, she would be so wizened as to be senseless and immobile. So, she must seek a new body, a fresh body, and start the cycle anew. Wow. And you had no idea? I'm so sorry. Do not be sorry. I am not. I am angry. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Maybe you could talk to her about it first? And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know my mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. Okay. Why do you need my help for this? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. Kill Flemeth. Isn't that a bit extreme? It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Okay, I'll help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she would truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Are you serious? Kill Flemeth, a witch of the wilds. <laughs> she would like everyone to think she is invincible, but I highly doubt that is the case. And besides that, you are not truly killing her. Is there a time limit on this? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. That is end game stuff. And minor magic, nice. Okay, so. We'll do a little bit of inventory management and then I will... I guess I'll hand out gifts as well. And then I'll finish and talk to everyone in the next session. Right, so. Um, stuff first. So we need to give... Shale. Ah, okay. She already has the spirit crystal. Oh, I get you. I think this one's a bit better though. It is. Give him or give her that. I'm gonna keep calling Shale a he. And we'll move that to junk. Okay. And, well actually, I think the best defence would be ice, but we haven't got ice. 
So the next most useful would probably be lightning, and I think in terms of damage, fire might be good. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Okay, so we've got shell sorted. Severin, I'm going to give you crow daggers. Okay, Sten's fine, I think. Oh, and actually, Zevran can have some studded leather armor hardened now, and we can get rid of that. All right, so got me sorted. Shale's done. Zevran's done. Sten's done, I think. I don't think he can use Yazarish yet, can he? No, not yet. Okay. Mabari, fine. Win. Fine. Lele. Fine, I think. Alistair, fine. Morrigan, fine. Yeah, I think everyone's okay. Just a few little bits and pieces need doing there. Still doing quite good for money. Six sovereigns. Right, gifts. So. Morrigan. Nothing. Alistair. I could give the Silver Sword of Mercy, but I have someone else in mind for that. Lele. Shoes? Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Sword of Mercy, I think. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Okay, that's good. Win. Nothing. Mabari, nothing. Sten, painting. Unexpected. Thank you. I think that's it. Nothing for Zevran. Shale, remarkable gems. Very nice, very nice indeed. And there we go, awesome. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, please don't forget to leave your likes, your shares, your comments. That really would help me out a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter where you'll be able to keep up with everything that happens on the channel, as well as get involved in a bit of banter, and I have a Discord too. So make sure you check me out on there if you want to connect with me on a more personal level. But until next time guys, goodbye, thanks for watching.